Hi, I'm Baron. If you're new to the channel, I do ship deep dives, buyers guides, all sorts of information on ships. What's up everyone? What is up chickies? It is Baron. Now, I know the last video was a little controversial. A lot of people unsubscribed. To be honest, I don't care if they unsubscribed. It's their own free will. Um, don't forget we were still running that Star Citizen uh, Moments giveaway with uh, two starter packs for first and second, then a paint for third. All the information's in the form down in the description. Join our Discord and subscribe. Watch this video to the end. So today we're going to be talking about capital ships. Now I did do a sort of like a podcast over on my second channel. If you haven't seen my second channel, link is down in the description also. So we will, <coughs> me... Myself and Lee were talking about capital ships while playing Star Citizen, so um, the whole discussion of it was just basically, you know, everything about capital ships. And you know, we I brought up the argument is that like we've only really, I don't, and we don't even know this if the Merchantman is going to be capital. But again, it's under hypothesis and the theory that it is going to be capital. Um, but to say the least is that. We can assume that it is capital, and we can assume that it isn't capital. But again, we don't have a lot of alien capital ships. We have just the one, and we don't really have a lot of alien ships, that being said. So, going off the basis, you know, um, we have the 890 jumping game, which is pretty much the only capital ship that we have in the game, and the discussion, like, we will... <laughs> The Polaris and other ships like that, it's just not viable to have them in the game with just one system. Maybe over a couple of systems and then have that serve meshing um, opportunity there as well. But going from there that like, why would you put the 89 jump in there? Yes, I guess it's just a luxury cruising super yacht thing and that, you know, there's no real use to it. They haven't fixed the cargo on it. There's still issues with it uh, that are ongoing. But saying that, you know, what could we expect from an alien manufacturer for in terms of a capital ship since we've only got the banner merchant and it's just it's nothing at the moment it's still sort of in the works so i've me and lee were discussing um you know what's what's the chances you know what what opportunities could there be for a capital ship from an alien manufacturer and you know we we discuss like exploration um being a capital explorer from an alien manufacturer yes i know the banner merchantman can do that but then again we also have the idris but the javelin can do that better and then you've got the kraken and just all these different tiers and categories of what's happening here and i think it would be a great opportunity to see a capital exploration alien ship especially when it's going to be you know if it was to be based off um like the the better tech so like you, instead of having the landing gear it sort of hover, uh, hovers above the ground um just the general alien tech through the entire ship and instead of having stairs have like a flat area so that when someone comes into the ship the stairs sort of just start to build up and using like the Xeon tech as well so that's what I was trying to think of is using ships using a lot of Xeon tech in the capital form of things and sort of build it off that or even have like a Tavaran capital ship um, in in law I mean it's entirely you know not possible for it to happen but then there is that argument for sake that there could be a Tavarin capital ship and I know that you know they're not the actual ships they are technically replicas it would still be cool to see something like that especially like how you got in the Talon you got the um the, like the, say the ship's windshield and it's got like those little hexagonals and they just go from like being like solid and then they go to being like um transparent and that would be cool on a larger scale I think a lot of this tech would be really cool on a larger scale in sort of giving it that um, that life that some of these capital ships have and again going and looking into the military side or the the um, the battle side of a capital ship for aliens as well and like I said I know the Banu Merchant will do a lot of these things but again you know to create that opportunity to create that diversity between all these ships it would be nice to see more from an alien manufacturer's perspective and again i don't know they could be bringing this something like this out in the future but i definitely like to entertain the discussion and the thought of this being a possibility within the future of star citizen in the next couple of years and i know saying that as well is very contradictive for the last arguments that have been going on you know with all the backlog of ships and that you know they should be working on those backlog of ships instead of just you know bringing out new ones and then working on those up the front 
But again, I think there would be a fantastic opportunity between these different manufacturers as well. So like what an X, I know Aegis doesn't really do it, but what about an exploration Aegis like capital or um, a MISC industri- like capital um, industrial ship that isn't cargo hauling and sort of based upon another um, like industry, I guess, since, you know, they are heavily industrial um, ships or something from RSI that we know we're getting a larger um, mining vessel but again like it'd be nice to have a little bit of diversity something like the Polaris that isn't the Polaris that's a little bit more um, pointed towards exploration or even another capital medical vessel um, I know we've just gotten the Galaxy but um, talking on a capital scale, you know, what about something that is to compete with the Idris and has same sort of functionality and capabilities of that ship? Um, something similar to the Javelin. Again, the Javelin is a super sort of um, rare ship. Well, it's supposed to be. I don't think it really is anymore. So, you know, there's just all these different industries that you can really look into and all these different sort of functionalities that you can really look at. But at the end of the day, what is... You know what is it that people want what is it that people want to see and i think that cig has come out with all these different ship ideas and we haven't really thought about it at the end of the day but then you sort of look into it and you think well you know they really are thinking out of the box since you know it would be good like to know what happens in their meetings when they come up with a ship and you know they've probably gone over this in the future or in the past but to see how everyone comes up with an idea, you know, they're brainstorming, they're coming up with ideas and then one will say exploration and then one will say, what about uh, e-warfare? And then they're like, oh no, okay, boom, put those two together. Or, you know, coming up with different offset ideas that are like subset from a, like an, an original idea of being like exploration and e-warfare and then just sort of mashing them or using little um, like delegates and like, off of those ideas and I want to know what you all think down in the comments um, it's very interesting to have this discussion and like I said we have all these discussions on the discord as well um, and I think this is something that you know during these topics I'll cover these on our, my second channel as well which would be more podcast based um, content and sort of more um, sort of open discussion where this is sort of primarily discussion about the ships and the industries that they are in so i know we don't have a lot of um capital ships like the pioneer is a very super niche ship for what it is um the polaris again it's like a someone said a space submarine and i think that sums that up perfectly you got a carrier like the kraken um you know this there's like an abundance um of ideas that can be brought out of this and a different like amount of ideas that can be thought up of this you know and some of these can have variants some of these can have modules um, we know the javelin has modules as well within it um, the merchant man was supposed to be modular um, it's just and obviously the endeavors modular but when will we ever see these ships will we ever see them at all ever i don't know but I think there's always that opportunity to learn and to grow and to build more onto this. Um, even though, you know, a concept ship could be brought out, it would most likely be a concept for quite a long time and it wouldn't leave that concept phase, I would assume. But again, it's just, it leads to that discussion of whether or not there's like room for that in the future, you know. Um, so, yeah, it's just what I wanted to talk about. Um, at the same time, I just want to add on to this that um, I'm looking into getting a professional camera um, for my webcam. I was going to get a Facecam Pro Elgato, but they, I don't know when they're ever going to come into stock. Um, so I guess if you want to help, uh, there is the thanks button. There's all different ways you can help. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. It's been Baron. Um, if you liked it, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't, leave a dislike, and we'll see you in the verse. Bye-bye.